Eat that motherfucker. <sighs> All right, people. Motherfucker. So, a lot of people out there on the internet are wondering. I've been here. I know a lot. And, um, about shot placements, you know, for personal defense. Where should I shoot in a personal defense situation? Where should your shots be, right? So, we're going to go through that right here. Just here in a second. Just bear with me. We're going to go through that with a 9mm. Okay? I mean, shot on shot demonstrations you're going to see here. Not just somebody sitting here in front of the camera talking to you. If you know what I mean. And then a 45 ACP. And how you should treat them both differently. So let's check it out. Alright, people. Up first, 9mm. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. Alright? I'm going to point over there to it. You can do it. You know, the basis with 9mm, I always look at, you get two in the chest, right? So two in the chest, one in the head. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Okay. So we're down here. Let's load it up. Make sure it's condition one. Okay. So you're up close. I mean, personal defense situation, folks, it's going to happen up close, all right? They're going to be right up in your shit. Okay. So you're gonna pull it out. Now that was, that right there was just a uh, one, hit, one hit in the chest, obviously. One in the chest, one in the head. That should work most of the time, all right? Especially with a 45. But basically with the nine millimeter, you wanna do this though, okay? I'm in a habit of doing that right there because I shoot 45s all the time. All right, so, but let's just do it one more time. All right, so, shit happens, right? So. That's generally how you're supposed to do it with the 9mm, okay? Perfect demonstration. That, that should have worked. And I mean, that should work even with freaking full metal jacket. Okay? So now, I'm going to show you the 45. So let me put my earmuffs back on. We're going to get it ready. Alright, so load one up, cocked and locked. I'm going to be drawing it from a different type of holster. Right here. So, anyway, now here's how you're supposed to do this, just like I've done the first one with the 9mm, actually. So let's just do that, right? So I'm saying, you know, shit happens, so. That's how it's supposed to be done with the 45. You don't need no more than that. I mean, you gotta take a look at this. Look at this shit, people. Don't you see the difference in the diameter of the holes? Now, what do, you, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? What I'm saying here, if the hole is bigger, you're going to bleed out faster. Okay? That's just what I'm saying. So I hope that was a great demonstration for you. I mean, obviously, you could pump as many rounds as you want to into somebody. You see what I'm saying? But that's just generally the baseline stuff. Some people would probably say with a 9mm. Now, I'm going to say this. If you got a 380, Put three in the stomach or chest, and at least one in the head, because that's the that's just a weakened, pussy down nine millimeter. Okay, nerds. <laughs> anyway, but you didn't know where that one come from, did you? So, thanks for watching. I hope you consider this demonstrational here. You know, a good demonstration, uh, other than some stuff I've seen. So, we'll take a look at the shot placements right quick too while we're at it. Hell, why not? So. All right, if I don't trip over that stump. So, obviously, that's a 9mm. That's a 9mm. I mean, I'm just showing you placements here. And, uh, that's a 9mm. So, those are my 9mm. And that, no, that was 9mm. My bad, that's 45. I had it mixed up. So, 9mm, 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 45, 9mm, 9mm. And, obviously, you can tell that's 45. So it worked out good, man. I'm talking about here from like two yards away or less because that's where the shit's going to fucking go down. You want to put shots here first from your hip, which I've got videos out there. Just go look for them showing you this shit. You know, you pull it out from your hip. I could go through this on a different video, an instructional tutorial. And then obviously after you get, get them startled with that, then you go for the head. I just keep that in mind. 
I don't know how to tell you. But anyway, that's generally how it's supposed to go. So thank you for watching, and I'll definitely see you on the next one. I hope you learned something from this video, and now I want you to learn how to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.